Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra if you haven't been here before and today we are going to start fresh in my Cultivate What Matters Goal Planner for 2024. This is the first video in this series of videos I'm going to do at the end, well I guess mid to the end of December. This is the prep work for 2024 for my goals and if you guys like you can follow along and work on your own power sheets with me or you can just sit back relax and watch and see how I do it. So this is going to be the intro video probably not as long as um, videos going forward um, because we are just starting fresh but I have the crocus power sheets in front of me it's the purple one and I'm so excited to get started so I'm going to write my name because this power sheets goal planner belongs to me so let's go ahead and write our name Okay. Yeah, Sandra D. That is my name. <laughs> I used to get teased a lot in grade eight for being Sandy D. Yeah, needless to say, I'm not a huge Grace fan. Okay, so first page. This page is basically a reading page. It's your fresh start. Um, go ahead and read this and it tells you how to like a general overview of how to use the power sheets and it's like a welcome page right um so it kind of go ahead and read that i'm i'm not going to read that i'm going to blow through the parts where it's just reading because you know what this is my fourth year so we're just going to go go ahead but i would suggest pause the video take time to read that page and now this page it says come alive again so it says basically what are your passions in life? Like, what do you want to um, focus on this year? And for me, I'm definitely going to do a career focus. Okay, that's a huge thing. Um, when it says your faith, I want to work on that as well. But I know learning from past events, I haven't been that successful in focusing on so many things. Um, I know I want to focus on my health and my family which are my loved ones so i'm just gonna those are two in the same yeah so for me i think this is good i don't feel like i need to write anything extra here because we're going to uh, dive a little bit deeper as we go through um but for me my career is my my home business so it kind of details a whole bunch of things which we'll get into i am planning on working on separate goals for my home um, goals as well as my business goals um, and I'll break it up more so in my business planner for that um, but I will have um, different ideas written in here so this is really where everything starts so that's good uh, the next one it says name what fires you up so dig in what do you love so this page is really where you can expand on this right so I've checked off career family health um, family as loved ones really um, I want to check off faith because I have a like I'm I'm spiritual I'm not so much like I don't have a faith I don't have a religion um, but I do want to work in more of a spiritual uh, realm type thing and actually focus on that more um, whether that means reading or doing readings um, with my with my tarot or whatever right um, so I'm just not going to make that a huge focus at this point, so I'm not going to cross it off. But it says, so uncover your unique passions, those things you're willing to trade your time, resources, and energy for. So it says, start with the things you love to do or what you have in your life. Okay, so it gives you some examples here. Um, I do want to do more reading. That's That's a good one, but I'm going to just jot down a few things here. Okay, so this is um, pretty much all I want to write on here for now. So I have quality time with kids. Really want to go on a family vacation. Um, that's one of the biggest things. I want to do that so bad. Um, family reunion, we will have one of those this summer. So we will go to that. 
on my business. I want to continue growing it and kind of continue doing the same things I'm doing. I feel like I'm in a good space with it right now. Um, designing stickers, outdoor time in summer, reading more, especially outside because I love doing that and keeping the house clean and tidy. And um, while that's not really a passion of mine, minimizing the house is. So I want to get to a place where everything has a spot, everything looks nice and tidy, um, continue, you know, getting rid of stuff as I go through. So right now my focus is really on my family and my business. Okay. So the next page is again, another reading page. So it says, learn from the past. Um, so it's, it's kind of like a reflection of the previous year. Okay. So um, the good things, what went well, what helped you cultivate. Um, if things were challenging, noticing and naming the good will give you the energy and hope you need to move forward. So we did have a very challenging 2023. Um, these are the challenges, some of the things we've had, lessons, and then gratitude. So on this page, this is where you write down all of those things. So I'm going to go ahead and try to brainstorm as much as I can here. So here I had to go over my old power sheets a little bit because I wasn't, ugh, and then I kind of got a little bit emotional because um, this has probably been our hardest year to date. Um, this year was harder for me than even when my dad passed away um, because our son was born with cystic fibrosis and just reading back on um, on everything that happened and it was kind of like our downfall really because um, our finances took a turn for the worse. Um, we didn't expect my husband had to be off work for a couple of months and we um, kind of fell behind. We didn't get to save as much money. Um, my husband also had to start working in the city because I just couldn't handle the emotional toll um, by myself. It was to the point where, oh, sorry, it was almost to the point where I was having a mental breakdown. I still feel like I might be in a mental breakdown. Um, and I haven't really talked to anybody about it. Um, I did get severely depressed uh, and I still am in depression um, and I'm dealing with it in my own way. I have, my doctor is fully aware of what my circumstances are and she understands to the point that a doctor can understand. Um, but so if we go through these things, like the good things, this is the positive anyway. So my planning and scheduling for my business. Um, as soon as we brought Logan home, I kind of went right back to my, my work because it did help me um, focus on things that kind of took my mind off our circumstances for a little bit. So that helped. Um, saving money for sinking funds. While we did have um, issues with our finances, I was still able to save a bit of money, you know, so my son could have his school fees paid for and we could pay our property tax, stuff like, like important things like that. Um, so we did do something that I, I won't talk about right now. Um, I'm hopefully, we'll see, I'm hopefully going to talk about it um, in the new year with new budgeting videos, but we did finally take charge of our finances and we took charge of our debt. We did something about it. So um, that will be hopefully released in January. 
um, I read a lot at the beginning of the year. So like between, I think it was December and January when Logan was first a newborn, I just read like all the time. And I, oh, and you know, another good thing is, um, hold on, taking, okay. So yeah, I, um, I did read a lot and it, it kind of stopped in the last few months where Logan started crawling around and getting more busy and stuff. Like I had to keep him occupied more. So lately, and I've had a lot of like stress on my mind, so I haven't been able to do much lately, but at the beginning of the year, I read like so much. Um, Chad started working in town, so it was good because I did need that moral and emotional support. We found Bird. So <laughs> this is... Um, this little budgie, um, a parakeet basically that we found, um, in our backyard. He was sitting on our garden hose area and we brought him in and he's been our little friend ever since. So, um, I don't know, he's, he's kind of a welcome addition at first. I wasn't sure, but, um, you know what, he's, he's our cute little friend. Um, and then also taking charge of my health. So I did do a couple of different things that are making me feel better about myself. Um, I haven't really talked about it at all, and I'm not sure if I'm willing to yet, um, but I have taken charge of that as well. So the challenges, so our finances needed an overhaul because we were drowning in debt. So again, um, we'll talk about that hopefully in the new year. Um, savings, so things just kept happening. So while we were saving money to pay for certain things like property tax, my school, my son's school fees, that kind of thing, um, my husband was off for two months at the beginning of the year. Um, he's usually off for about three weeks over Christmas, which is already devastating to our financial situation. But um, this time, because our son was born and um, he had severe medical issues at the beginning, um, we weren't sure if he was going to survive. Um, we he, he was home and it was very hard because we had lots of doctor's appointments at the right at the beginning. And it was just, it was so stressful, um, especially the first year of life. You know, there's, there's SIDS, um, there's, um, there's just so many things when it comes to a newborn, when your newborn's healthy, it's already pretty scary. But when your newborn has a medical condition, it's even worse. Um, not to mention a terminal illness. So yeah, it's very devastating, very difficult. And, um, all the time for doctor's appointments and time for, um, just like everything, like the emotional severity of it. It was so difficult trying to get through that time. Um, and it kind of pulled us back for the remainder of the year. So it's definitely made things challenging at this point in our lives. Um, so yes, emotionally charged year. Um, and I couldn't cope. Um, I've had lots of breakdowns. The doctors like Logan cystic fibrosis doctors have tried to help, um, like financially, um, you know, like through this dollar either, they're funded by, by donors basically, and by, um, people donating money. So, um, they've tried to help us. I, we cannot apply for disability because cystic fibrosis is like one of those things that isn't completely covered under disability benefits. So we do not apply. We, we cannot qualify. Um, and to, to try to qualify, you have to spend $100 on simply the application to your doctor, and we cannot afford it. So that's pretty sad, um, but that's that's how it is. So um, not making as much money because Chad's working in town. So there are benefits to him being in town. Um, his family was like, oh, yeah, good, you're working in town. But they didn't realize, like, it was a severe pay cut, Um but I don't think I would have been able to make it. If Chad wasn't here in the evenings with me, I don't think I would have been able to survive, um, especially with postpartum depression, especially with just depression from everything that happened. Um, I mean, already finan finances are like the number one stressor of all time, but also either being diagnosed with a terminal illness or having a child uh, with a terminal illness is, is one of the next, right? I mean, it is so scary. So that was definitely uh, the biggest challenges of this year. Um, and lessons too. So, I mean, you know, we, we've, 
I don't really feel like we need to learn any more lessons. But I mean, when everything happens at once, you kind of get overwhelmed and you don't really appreciate the, the, the challenges as lessons at the time. So it's not until you really look back and you're like, oh my God, okay, this is what I've learned from that. Um, the biggest thing I can tell you guys right now is your health is number one. Your self-care is number one. So my cup hasn't been full in a very long time. My cup hasn't been full in a very long time. And it's hard for me to talk about it. I'm like getting emotional right now. Um, I haven't been able to fill it. And on a good day, even when before I gave birth, um, you know, it's always like as a mother, you're focusing on your house, you're focusing on your business, you're focusing on your kids, your loved ones, your, your husband or whatever, your spouse. And um, it's very difficult to um, to spread yourself so thin all the time, constantly for an ongoing period. Um, and like simple things like having time to yourself, that's totally underrated. Um, I never thought I'd desire time by myself. I always wanted to be with somebody else. <clears throat> always like, you know, watch a movie with somebody else or, or just sit and talk with somebody else. But there have been so many times when I just simply want to be alone and be by myself. Um, <clears throat> and even have a bath. I don't think I've had a bath this entire year. And I think somebody said something, they were kind of giggling about the fact I was writing a bath in for my self-care in my actual schedule. But in order for me to be sane, I need something like that. I need to schedule that time for myself. Um, <clears throat> so things that I learned, it's better to deal with your, your money, your finances head on and just, you know, deal with it and just look at it and say, okay, this is what we need to do. Sometimes you have to take emotion out of it and do hard and fast decisions because it will save you. It totally will. And we'll talk more about that again in the new year. Like I said, um, self-care, health, very important. Um, I didn't realize how important it was until I've been through such a devastating year and definitely need, need a vacation. So this year, unfortunately, we weren't able to go anywhere because of health, um, because of money and because of my son. Um, so we weren't able to do anything or or um, have really any quality time together because my husband was working as much as he could whenever he could um, from home because it was a big pay cut coming from out of town to working in the city. And um, we never went anywhere except a red deer. And even that was cut down to like once a quarter, basically, like once every two or three months. So we didn't get as much time away as we used to. And my mom... My mom's health has also declined, so we haven't been able to go to karaoke together. Usually now it's Chad staying home with the kids, and I go out because I've been home with the kids all week, and it's super hard. Um, and they're pretty much a lot of my friends at karaoke anyway, and not really his friends. So that's been hard because we haven't had quality time together. Um, another thing is taking one day at a time. I've always been a planner. I've always looked ahead. I've always wanted to plan ahead and plan like you know everything ahead of time and I haven't been able to do that a lot of the times this year um I'm literally taking it day by day especially in depression you can't plan ahead right and I'm sure that some of you may understand and you may have been there yourselves so I'll just leave it at that um and then also I want to enjoy more outside time because again my my baby was like he's got cystic fibrosis, so he can't be out when there's smoke. He can't be outside if it's extremely hot. We had a lot of hot days this year. Um, there's a lot of things, a lot of limitations. Like he can't be in a room with, he can't be around humidifiers. He can't be in a hot tub. So there's, there's definitely limitations. Okay. So I think I talked about challenges and then gratitude. It just says who you are grateful for. Everybody that basically supported us through this year, my mom, especially at the beginning, she watched the kids so we could go on date nights, but it kind of petered out towards mid, mid year. Um, her health kind of declined as well. And she hasn't been able to be here. Um, she hasn't been able to help us out as much. So she used to help me clean the house. Um, 
you know, and she hasn't done that for probably the last year. Um, so, and like, I haven't been able to because of time restrictions. I mean, my house is cleaned, but not like cleaned, like I'd like it to be cleaned. Um, Chad's always working, but he, he is here to support me. Um, and he's probably been my biggest supporter, even though we're both going through the same thing at the same time. Chad's parents, they helped us a little bit financially. They helped us, um, we didn't really tell them a whole bunch and they didn't, we didn't really get into things very well, but, um, I mean, what the support they have given us has helped and Chad's siblings, we've gone to them for advice and for, you know, for help. Um, his sisters helped us with the kids and taken them out and done things with them this summer that we couldn't do. Um, my son's grandpa, Mark, for simply letting us come to his house and having time away from the city just to kind of get our minds off our troubles for a little bit. We've been able to escape, you know, for a weekend here and there. Um, and that's been pretty much our only form of vacation. And then last, my best friend. So when um, she first found out and we were talking um, about Logan and stuff, and she was a big supporter. And then she also helped me Swedish death clean my basement, which probably needs to be, be done again next summer. But I mean, it, it was a definite big help in the right direction. And she helped me let go of a lot of like unnecessary um, things that I had from my past that I didn't need anymore. So that was really, really helpful. Um, but we are at 34 minutes of the video. And I know I'm only on page eight, but I think what we'll do is we'll continue this video next, or we'll continue this next video. Um, and it's only because like these first couple pages were very emotionally charged. I find it very, um, very hard looking back on the last year. I think this has been, like I said, the worst year that I've had, you know, that I've had to date. Um, especially coming out of COVID, I think. I know COVID was like, it started in 2020. That's when I had my daughter. And you know what? That that actually wasn't that bad. I felt like I felt like I did get very depressed, especially towards the end. So I think it finished, I think it was February 2022 was when, it, you know, we were allowed to not wear masks anymore. And I think that was good. Um, and then the rest of 2022 was okay. But 2023 hit us hard when we had our son um, and especially financial difficulties arising because of that. Um, that was probably the biggest thing. So, um, and, and then also all the limitations that kind of kept us from doing fun, more fun things like going on trips or doing anything. It's especially you already have a new baby. It's just difficult. So, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, this segment of, um, you know, kind of diving into my new power sheets. And again, everybody's story is different. Yours is not going to look like mine, right? I had a completely um, different experience. And my past year was very, very challenging and very difficult, um, emotionally charged, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but I hope that you guys found value in what you filled out. If you guys are going along with the same, you know, the same pages as me and, and uh, kind of digging into what you what you want from your goals. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in my next installment. It'll be next. I think I'm doing two videos a week. Um, and it might go longer than four videos. I don't know because I right now I have it scheduled for four, but we'll see if we have it in six. That's okay too. So again, thank you guys for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you are new, please subscribe, click on the bell button and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye friends.